What's going on guys? Slay by Blade here. Hopefully you guys are having a good one. And today I've finally, you know, taken enough time to come up with some things to talk to you guys about. Uh, you know, longer than 140 characters, so I couldn't tweet it. So we're going to play some Black Ops 1, and I'm going to answer a couple questions and share a couple stories with you guys. What a throw. I mean, sure, he was probably AFK, but I did get hit by bullets from somewhere. So I do want to talk to you guys about something that's kind of a big deal for me. I don't know if anybody else will care, but uh, I signed a contract with Machinima about five years ago, like late 2011. So I was like super excited. Machinima was at the top of their game and they were like, yeah, we want to sign you for seven years. And, uh, you know, like 16 year old me or whatever was like, seven years, that's nothing. You know, that's, that's not a big deal. And now, you know, five years into it, I'm like, holy shit. Oh, that was disgusting. I can't believe I missed that tomahawk. What the fuck? So I signed my contract with Machinima about five years ago, and then I have two years left on my term. And then uh, over the years, you know, they start having a uh, kind of rough go at it publicity-wise. I think that's fair to say. And uh, I think, you know, maybe I should try and get out of this if I can, but I wasn't sure how to go about it. Get turned on. What the fuck? <laughs> there were so many people. And then a few months ago, I started seeing a pop-up on YouTube saying that there have been changes made between the agreements of YouTube and Machinima and that I need to accept these new terms for my partnership. And I'm like, they're trying to change my contract through a pop-up on YouTube, which is not okay in my books. So I just keep hitting decline on it. And then it starts getting more and more aggressive over the months. And I start having to X out of it every single time I click on anything on YouTube. Just like, it, it gets out of hand, but I keep declining it because I think this might be my way to get out of my partnership. And then the pop-up starts actually showing up with red text at the bottom that says that I need to accept these new terms or my partnership might be at risk of termination. And I'm like, oh no, that, that would be terrible, wouldn't it? Like, it's not like that's my end game here. And so a couple weeks ago, I actually got out of my partnership, just randomly released by Machinima. No, fuck, dude, there were so many people there. And, uh, you know, you might be wondering why I'm telling you this at all. One, kind of patting myself on the back a little bit, got out of a contract two years early with, like, no help at all other than just, like, seeing a pop-up and being like, hey, that seems kind of weird. And uh, two, hoping some people might learn from this because I know a lot of people that are still complaining about their partnerships and uh, they just click accept on that immediately. So uh, take away from this what you will. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, don't just click accept on a pop-up that changes your contractual obligations to a company because, like, the fact that that exists at all is fucking terrifying. So... Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. What a throw. Keep him coming. No, fuck, dude. And now right back onto the RC talk. I've been getting a lot of questions about the XGMX RC. Uh, a lot of content creating questions. And I will say, uh, you know, I can't answer in depth as much as I'd like to just because, you know, the, at some point the response becomes my response if I give you enough guidance. Like, it's not fair if I'm telling you what all to do to make your response better because then it's not yours. That's kind of the point. So what I do want to say is I would like to see more stuff that can go up on the team channel. Don't just show me that you create content for your personal channel. I feel that a lot of people have been doing that. And uh, you know, as great as that is and all, it doesn't really benefit the team as much. And I do wanna be clear that I understand that what's funny and what's interesting are subjective and that's gonna be different for everyone. But at the end of the day, like what we find funny and what we find interesting are gonna be what gets into the team. So if you want a tip, like I'd say avoid like just like the cringy stuff and like, I guess, that really doesn't help because like odds are if you're like uploading cringy stuff like you probably don't even know it or it's not cringy in your opinion which is completely fine but at the same time like i mean like i don't i don't care about gamma challenges like i mean you know what i'm saying like it's not gonna it's not doing it for me you know like that's not going up on my team's channel but yeah guys i just kind of felt like answering some questions and also talking about a couple things that have been going on with me so hopefully you guys enjoyed this i know it's not a normal upload but i did have one two days ago if you missed it i feel like it didn't hit sub boxes but it still did really well so i appreciate that and uh, I'll have another upload tomorrow as well as the top five on Sunday. So I'll see you guys then. You guys take it easy. Peace.